360 degree photosphere is a high resolution photographic panorama made from multiple overlapping images often captured with a standard digital stills camera in high dynamic range and then these images are stitched together with software into one single continuous very high resolution image and then mapped onto a 360 degree sphere which wraps around the position of the camera as far as the real-time engine is concerned. Using photography means that you are capturing images of the real world with all the complexity and drama of real lighting. Uh, so you get reality without having to build everything from scratch inside the 3D engine. The biggest drawback of the photosphere is that it is still essentially a two-dimensional image, albeit one mapped onto the inside of a three-dimensional sphere. So if you make a big perspective shift in the position of the camera, it won't be reflected in the background. The objects in that background won't pick up any parallax from the camera's movement. So as a result, photospheres tend to lend themselves to distant backgrounds where the objects in the background are quite far away, like city skylines and big landscapes, mountainscapes, that sort of thing. You can add three-dimensionality to the photosphere by adding in three-dimensional shapes and uh, projecting the imagery in the sphere onto those shapes. But it can be quite time-consuming because essentially you're having to recreate the three-dimensionality that was in the original background. Sorry, I'm a little late. A little. It's 10.02. It's not the end of the world. It's 10.02 p.m. You're 12 hours late. That wasn't the arrangement. Yeah, well, ask Gilroy. He's the one who set this up. Anyway, you got something for me? If something goes wrong, we didn't have this conversation. Are you going to give it to me or not? Use it wisely. What's on there will change everything. Yeah. Sure. 